This AC690 Pro video explains the process to carry out the automatic cycle for recovery, vacuum, leak detection, and charge of refrigerant, oil, and dye. Switch the machine on, and after initializing, date and time are displayed. The first step is to check that there is sufficient recovery capacity in the internal storage vessel. Press Enter, and the machine's refrigerant, oil injection, and oil drain values are displayed. There should be between 4 and 17 kilos of refrigerant. The oil drain and oil injection bottles should be empty. Press Stop, and the date and time are displayed. Press the car icon key to access the vehicle database. The display shows standard specs, which is where vehicle data is stored. User specs is used to record and access manually loaded vehicle information. Vehicle datas is used to record customer details and vehicle identity. This information is included on printouts. Highlight vehicle datas and press enter. Press Enter to confirm each step and use the Alpha Numeric Keypad. Record the customer name. The vehicle make, model, the ID plate, registration number or chassis number, and the mileage. The information is saved and the display returns to show standard specs, user specs, and vehicle datas. Select Standard Specs. European database is displayed. Press Enter and database reference information is displayed. Locate the specific vehicle manufacturer by using the navigation keys or use the initial alpha key as a shortcut. When highlighted, then press Enter for each selection. The vehicle model, engine size, and yeah, this may be followed by several options with additional information to make this selection. Press Enter to select if this applies. Two options are displayed, Loading Specs and Display Specs. Press 2 for the Display Specs option. This shows information such as PAG oil and quantities together with vehicle data. If required, press Enter to print the information. Press Stop and the options are redisplayed. Press 1 for loading specifications and the date and time are displayed. Press the automatic key. The display prompts for information about service ports. This vehicle has two service ports. Press 1 to select. A prompt to set vacuum time is displayed. The default time is 20 minutes. Press Enter to confirm. A prompt is indicating inject UV dye. It is good practice to inject UV dye to make it easier to find any subsequent leaks. Press 1 to select. A prompt indicates oil charging, meaning oil injection. Some manufacturers recommend oil injection with each recharge. The details are shown on the printout. Press 1 to inject oil. The quantity of oil to inject is prompted. On this vehicle, the printout shows to inject 10 milliliters of oil. Enter the required quantity. Fill and check that there are sufficient quantities of the correct oil and UV dye in the bottles. Press Enter to confirm. A prompt is displayed to set the refrigerant charge. It is advisable to check for any underbonnet information about refrigerant charge. Use this information to override the advised quantity by keying in the appropriate value. Press Enter to confirm. As prompted, connect the service couplers to the vehicle. To prevent misconnection, the larger diameter red coupler is for the high side and the blue coupler 
for the low side and that has a smaller internal diameter. Open the high and low pressure panel valves. Press enter to continue. The machine's compressor starts. The display indicates self-clearing. This process, which takes around three minutes, clears the machine to make the recovery more accurate. When complete, there is an audible click and the screen display changes to recovery in progress and shows zero kilograms. The recovered amount showing on the display increases and the high and low side pressures move to zero. When the refrigerant has been adequately recovered, the display indicates oil drain and pressure check in progress. This process checks for pressure increase in the vehicle, known as boil off. If this occurs and the pressures rise above a parameter level, the machine will restart recovery at the end of the oil drain and pressure check and then revert to oil drain and pressure check. The process can be repeated up to six times. When this process is finished, the machine vacuums the vehicle's AC system and the display counts down from 20 minutes to zero. High and low side pressures fall to minus one. When complete, the display shows leak detection in progress. This process takes around five minutes. If a leak is detected, the process will stop and a leak detected message displayed. If no leaks are detected, the machine continues to inject UV dye and then inject the oil based on the previously entered values. If any oil has been recovered, that volume will be added to the injected quantity. The machine charges the vehicle with refrigerant and the display shows charge in progress. The scale weight screen displays and increases during the charge. The high and low side pressures also increase. When the correct amount of refrigerant has been charged, close the high and low pressure panel valves as prompted and press enter to continue. A prompt for a performance test is displayed. Press 1 to activate the test. As prompted, start the vehicle's engine and switch on the air conditioning system. Turn to maximum cold, fan speed to maximum and recirculation must be off and watch the pressures. The low side pressure falls and the high side pressure increases. When finished, press enter. As prompted, switch off the air conditioning and the engine and disconnect the service couplers. Press enter to continue. There is an audible signal and the servicing information is displayed. Press enter to print or stop the finish. When the summary has printed, press stop. Although it may have been carried out, a prompt shows to disconnect the service couplers from the vehicle. Open the high and low pressure panel valves and press enter to continue. The display shows service hoses clearing in progress. This recovers the refrigerant from the hoses. The high and low side pressures drop to zero. Confirmation that the process is complete is displayed. Close high and low side panel valves and press stop to finish. A prompt asks if car datas are to be cleared. Select one to clear so that the next operator doesn't have to overwrite the data. Empty the die and both oil bottles for the next operator. The process is complete and date and time are displayed.